like if the FAA is, is making the same kinds of um, objections to them that they're making to our fairgrounds. And the thing we've got to really remember here is that both this Chehalis Airport and Sanderson Field operate under the same administrator of the FAA office in Renton, and we operate under the same rules, and we operate under the same laws, we operate under the same policies, both airports. So my feeling is that we can use this, what's been successful down in Chehalis as a model here. Thank you. I think it's the FAA that has the unrealistic expectation. The FAA has made an assumption that simply because they came into ownership out of World War II of a piece of dirt, that the expectations of the community are meaningless. I don't think that's true. I think the expectations of this community, at least morally, are paramount. So, as far as expectations are concerned, this fairgrounds has sat on this piece of dirt for 76 years out of the 104 years of the existence of the fair in Mason County. Now, if that doesn't make it a senior interest in this community, I don't know what is.